can't get past that. I fell over your stupid feet. Hello. I mean, you put yourself on the toilet. Well, then, no. Right? Would you like some tea? Uh, uh, may I cape, please? But would you like to sit down? We should put him out of his misery, really, shouldn't we? Well, you've changed your tune, haven't you? Have I? Jane said she practically had to drag you to the hospital. Well, she never even bothered to try with you, did she? Dad! I'm coming, love. Margaret. I'm sorry. I've got a way to go, right? But I'm trying to deal with it. With her. And it's hard. Oh. Yes, I know. It's hard for you, too. But you see, you can't just look at her disability. You, 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 you must look at her, right? I'm just trying to understand. Not, not just me and Esther, me and Jane, all of it. It's like I've been on ice for 15 years, you see. Dad! Dad, help me! And she makes it all right, does she? Hmm? Gives you some purpose in life. Well, I suppose it's very nice to have someone to look after. Do you know what Jane said to me? She said that you couldn't face anything. You couldn't face Esther, you couldn't face her. It was always that business of yours. The business. That was always your excuse. Look. So, what happened? Did the business bite the dust? Oh. That's it, isn't it? Hmm? Coming, Esther. Do me a favour, fellas. Just kick the shit out of her and let's hit the road, eh? I'm on the track of something. I want to get up and look for it, but I can't. I'm stuck in this bloody chair. I see no chair. I don't like being driven and told where to go and patted on the head. I hate it when people show me across the road. I just like to get out there and experience the lorries, you know. It's my father, really. It's always the way. He's here now, isn't he? What are you looking for? Scary good stories. I know some of them. There's a man in a hospital, north of here, Kellisfield. He knows more than anyone I've met. I'll tell you one if you like. But it isn't a nice one. This is what Dilk did to Arthur after he found out about Linny, because Arthur had told Linny how to get away. Hello, boys. Good morning, Malcolm. Good morning. How are you, Tom? Very well, sir. Talking up a storm, are we, Frankie? Talking to Arthur. It's nice for you to talking to Arthur. Like Arthur. Do you now? Arthur's quite a randy little bastard, isn't he? Come on, boys, we're going out now. Come on. Yeah. We're going out into the fresh air, boys. Come on. Come on, lads, let's have you. Come on, let's get Malcolm out. Come on. Malcolm likes the fresh air, don't you, Malcolm? Let's have you. 
Come on, boys, let's get out now. We're going out now, boys. <laughs> not you, boy. You're not going. Why not? I go. Arthur says, why can't he go? Arthur's been a bad boy. Arthur's been a dirty boy. Haven't you, boy? Mr. Rendell look after him. What do you, Mr. Rendell? What Rendell do? We're not going back. Arthur's alive. I'm sure he is. We have to try and find him. She told me the story and I believed it. I'm sure it really happened, because I do things like that to disabled people. I know. Do things like what? Hurt them. Ignore them. Esther, would you tell me the story? Eh? Yes. Tell us. Will you? All right. Arthur says he was left alone with a man called Randall. You want to go out the toilet, don't you? <coughs> Since you know, boy. Come on, let's shut your mouth. If you go down in the woods today, you better go in disguise. If you go down in the woods today, you're sure of a big surprise. Cause every bear that ever there was is gathered there this evening because. <laughs> You don't tell me what you've been up to, boy. You don't tell me what a dirty, dirty boy you. Absolutely. Get some of this. Hey, boy. Get some of this. An absolutely horrible story. That's what they do to us. They put us into homes, forget all about us. It's like we don't exist. Like I did to you, right, Dave? So, even if this Arthur is real, 